Okay, so we're going to talk about the surface area of a triangular prism. Okay, now this is relatively straightforward, but you must make sure that you do things really, really logically. And by surface area, they mean this surface, that surface, the surface at the bottom, the surface at the side, and the surface at the back. Okay, and it's the total of all of those surfaces added together. So, what we're going to look at first is this triangle. Okay, now very helpfully they've given us six centimetres there and eight centimetres there. Okay, so to work out the area of this triangle, again if you look at one of the other videos, there is a video on working out the area of a triangle, but the area of this triangle is six times eight divided by two. Okay, so just at the moment I'm going to look specifically at this one small area here. So 6 times 8 is 48, divided by 2 is 24 centimetres squared. Okay, so when I finish working out the area of the triangle, I'm now going to work out the area of this front surface. So it's the surface that's actually looking at me at that particular point here, which is 10 times 10. It's actually a rectangle. Well, so square, 10 times 10. So the area of this is 10 times 10, which equals 100 centimetres squared. Okay. Now I'm going to look at the bottom surface here. So it's the surface that this triangular prism is actually resting on, which is 8 centimetres along and 10 centimetres deep. So this bottom surface is 8 times 10, which equals 80 centimetres squared. Okay, the one at the back is 6 centimetres by 10 centimetres width. So 6 times 10, which is 60 centimetres squared. And then finally, I also have this final triangle at the far end of the wedge, which is the same as this triangle here, 6 times 8 divided by 2. Now just to help me, sometimes what I do, when I'm working this out, is I'll put a little triangular sign there just to remind myself that it's triangle um, and then these are uh, rectangular or square surfaces and then triangle at the bottom. And it's just a little method just to make sure that I've got things in a nice steady order. Which is obviously, it's uh, 6 times 8 divided by 2 is 24 centimetres squared. And if I add that little lot up, it comes to 288 centimetres squared. So the total surface area of this prism is 288. Now, just a, another thought actually, the definition of a prism is a regular shape, and if you cut it in two along there, that shape will be exactly the same as the shape at the front there, or the shape at the back. So it's got exactly the same shape if you cut it in two. So if you can imagine a, uh, a piece of cheese, or a rectangular box, or something like that, they're all prisms. Okay, if you look at mathstrap.co.uk, it's probably about there on the screen, um, you'll be able to download some worksheets, some learning sheets, and have a go for yourself, and see if you can work out the surface area of triangular prisms.